Hey there, Sparing into the news. Today, let's dive into the nitty gritty of setting up your Shopify starter plan. I'm Steven, and this is your complete guide to kickstarting your online store journey. Stick around, and I will walk you through every step to get your online business up and running. So first of all, let's choose the startup plan. Now, first things first, let's explore why the Shopify starter plan is a fantastic choice for those of you beginner and the e-commerce adventures. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. So you might be wanting to choose which is the best solution for you in order to get started. So what you can do is to don't focus into the basic or the Shopify or the advanced plan, but only into the actual startup plan. What is exactly the startup plan? So let's talk about this set of plans. Whether you are a solopreneur or a small business, this plan packs a punch without breaking the actual bank. So creating a simple store into minutes now can be possible with a startup plan. Why is that? Because with the link that I just gave you down below in the description, you can start for free for a few days. Later on, for the next three months, you can pay only $3. That means $1 per month. And later on, you're going to be paying only $5 per month for your store, which is really, really a life changer. Speaking about different other uh, solutions and plans that you can use, all you need into your store is going to be granted, of course, by Shopify. So how you can get started with the actual free trial. I'm going to leave you guys once again the link. Once you click into the link, you might be seeing something like this. So let's get started with of this base description. Let's just start with the account setup and the store configuration. Now, what you wanted to do, let's say I'm just getting started. Now, what do you like to sell? Let's say that I wanted to sell as an online store, an existing website, and even I wanted to add stuff for social media, and maybe a few online marketplaces. If you're not sure what you want to be doing here, choose I'm not sure. Let's get into next. Lastly, what do you plan to sell first? Let's say, for example, that I wanted to sell my own services, a print on demand products, drop shipping products, products I buy or make myself. So choose the one that best suits for you and hit into next. Now, really important that in order to have the really best shipping rates, to have the recommended applications and so much more, choose the country and the region you're currently based. So in this case, I'm going to choose only Mexico. Let's go for next. Personalization is actual key, so I'll show you how you make your store uniquely yours, even on the startup plan. You can see here that we have the Shopify store, we have the ready to sell, we have the setup guides, they have the find to sell, the setup your online store, store settings, and launch your online store. So in order to get started, usually what we do is to get started with the setup guide. Now here into the setup guide, it's going to be showing you browse products sourcing application. For example, you can do some drop shipping, you can do with Printify, you can do with Dropshipman. In this case, let's go for Printify. Now Printify is a print on demand application that can be helping you to sell your products, to sell your designs uh, into products and you don't have to pay absolutely for anything. You just needed to actually make sure they have a really great, great design. And you can start by choosing catalog and choose what kind of product would you like to sell. For example, let's say the most common stuff that everybody does. Now, as you can see, it says publishing. How do we make sure that our product has now been published inside our store? Let's go back here into Shopify. And here, let's go into the product section. Inside the product section, you should see that we have the add your products. If you reload your paste after you make this process, usually uh, the product should be added automatically. So you can see the status is active, the inventory is not tracked, but we have the one sale channel, markets, t shirts, and the printify. So, so far, it is actually working. So now, with the groundwork late, once you add your product and customize your store, well, maybe what we can do is to start our branding to take some shape. So what I can totally suggest to you guys in order to get started is just to make sure that we have, of course, the linked pop. Now, the link pop is, let's say, for example, like a link, a website that can be helping you to, uh, let's say, add your products automatically. You don't have to create like a website because all of this should be created automatically and you can add your own products into your store. If you go into the online store, here you can customize your current store so you can see that we have the spotlight and you can choose different plants to customize your store. In this case, I'm gonna go now into preview. You can see that we have a huge and easy website where we can start to sell our products. So it is actually looking really great so far. And lastly, what I want to do is now to head into settings, head into payments, and into payments, 
I choose a provider in order to accept payment method. For example, choose the preferred one, depending on the country you're currently living, it's going to be showing you different third party payment providers. Now, in this case, it's going to be showing me the Stripe. So I will for continue. And now I can start to receive the money into my store. Now, the best part here, you don't want to focus into your online store. What you actually wanted to do is into the actual apps section. Inside the apps, you need to go for all recommended apps. And what I want to do is to go for the Shopify app store. Inside the Shopify app store, what I want to do is to get started with Meta and Google. Now, this actual stuff can be helping me to sell my products to Facebook and Instagram. Really, really easy process. And actually, that is actually it. That's the reason why I wanted to get started with this startup plan. Because we might have a really basic and easy website. But the fact that we can use Shopify to add all our products into Facebook, into Instagram, into Google, YouTube, and all of that is more than enough with only for one dollar. Well, congratulations, guys, because your Shopify startup plan is now set it up and ready to go. It's exciting to see your online store come to life. So, so if this tutorial was helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Shopify insights. Drop any questions to the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. We are now ready to get started with this actual amazing Shopify stuff. So, guys, um, your e-commerce journey is just beginning. Once again, you have the link down below in the description to get started with the Shopify basic startup plan. I'll be here every step of the way. Until next time.